welcome back sports gamers it's the natural have a, another madden title update and it's probably probably the most useless one that i, I think uh, i've seen in a while i'm uh, gonna go through really quickly i mean you know i'm a franchise guy so i come from that uh set of point for this this rock your franchise guy this update is uh sorry this this title update is not for you but the one positive thing is they did add a the roster update the weekend roster update is live that's what we've been waiting for to go ahead and start our franchises and and that's how we operate here especially with uh dealing with pml um so getting right into the title update they fixed some issues related to mutt squad's role selection okay they fixed a case where usernames didn't appear during 2v2 gameplay assuming that's in mutt squad as well season one begins it runs through 11 5 and that that's a mutt thing they have different seasons and uh with different graphics and cards are released and all that and but I, I don't I don't even see how this affects really franchise, but the season one for the game, but usually it's more of a big deal in mud. New app icon and main menu art representing the season start. Are, I mean, I guess they want they wanted more bullet points. Like yeah, we clearly can see that that they update the the game art and they start they did that last year as well. And it keeps the game looking fresh and and really new, but doesn't really change anything. It's just you know when you load it up, it's a different little screen and. All that's changed. Uh, new uh, a Nike HQ Yard location and challenges released. If you're a fan of the Yard, that, that's great. I'm, I've been playing a little bit. Um, you know, let me know if you guys want to see some Yard tips. I have been playing more, more one versus one. Uh, you know, just because I don't have to kind of wait for anyone to get on or, or coordinate. I just hop on and just play. It's it's a fun mode. I'm I'm not not gonna hit on the Yard at all. I wish uh, some uh, that equipment that was in the Yard was actually in franchise mode or other modes. That that would be great. But outside of that. It is a fun game mode, you know, not not too serious. Something to grab, hop on and play. Uh, so they added a new location, which is good. They only had a couple so far, uh, like I think with four locations. Uh, Season-specific vanity content is available for a limited time. That's regards to the yard and, and your player. New legends available in SSKO, Superstar KO Draft. Um, that's something that I knew they would be updating throughout the whole entire year. People that do play Superstar KO, I, have, I haven't even really touched it. I think I played one game so far this year early on. Um, when I first got the game, but I really haven't played. I know they've having some issues. People have been saying that, that that mode is pretty broken. They've been having, you know, disconnects and problems with that. So uh, hopefully that's patched itself up. But um, I know people, a lot of people were complaining about it. And they added the Jufu song, Just Do It, featured in the Madden Tracks rotation. Okay, and that, that's it. That That is the update. Uh, there's, there's nothing else to this update but those things. Uh, so like I said, for, for me, like, most useless update but the the thing that i do care about is the week one rosters with the contracts and the picks and the, the accurate nfl rosters day one for three man roster um so actually gonna let's let's load up and let, let's take a look at that get right into it you know there's there's definitely a difference um between the active roster and then the the real life roster and the active roster um, and then, you know, the active roster, that's like the custom one. You can download and, and update to whatever you want. And when you start a franchise, uh, sorry, fantasy leagues, anything like that. But we want to go with the active roster. That's what you want to start the franchise with um, when you're going into the week one there. And that's going to be the, the most up-to-date contracts, players, um, the, the official NFL 53-man roster. Um, it's going to have all the, the new guys on there, um, all the cuts all the the changes so you want to go ahead and, and uh start with that and then we can kind of take a look at uh some of the the additions that have been uh, added into that and, and start the league with that and for me i've always wait for the week one roster all the time I, i'm i'm not sure why people don't do that i mean but you know i, I always like having the most realistic roster as you go and i'm starting starting out with the patriots there uh, and we can kind of take a look and some of the new uh, roster additions and you know what are the biggest ones what are the ones the the kind of players that that people have been waiting for and we, we know the davion Clowney is definitely one of them who just recently signed uh with the titans and take a look at the patriots roster they did make some some cuts there um most notably muhammad sanu the veteran wide receiver did not make that roster uh, so he's going to cut and also uh one thing that's great that they actually have accurate practice squads so you know typically when you're in a franchise the practice squad that you have 
is just you know leftover players or guys has got you know signed auto signed or or as, as the, the year progressed or you know guys that uh you know from the draft or whatever but this is starting on week one to actually have the accurate you know nfl practice squad on there so let's go and check out jadavion Clowney, 88 overall star dev um that's what he stopped ended with last year so he start star dev again 86 speed 89 acceleration 95 pursuit he is a beast especially if you get him upgraded to superstar so you can unlock those abilities he really turns to a monster um he, and he's really great for the for the run usually guys that are athletic like that are more like pass rushers but clowning can definitely do both um so let, let's take a look at the uh the free agent pool that's when you can tell, tell a big difference about the freeman uh sheer demarius randall colin kaepernick did a whole video about that you know people in the comment section were, were pissed off <laughs> it is what it is uh but Kyle kaepernick's in the fridge pool he's actually the best quarterback available to sign jerry's juice surprised to see him on there i thought that was somebody who you know like ray rice they would just delete remove from the game completely but he's still in the game still in the roster it's interesting um that he's on there uh, eric berry i thought that you know he, he when he went out sick eventually he would get re-signed by someone but it, it's been a couple years he's been been out the league and so i, I guess he's i don't know if he's officially retired i guess before he officially retires they'll, 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 they'll take him off uh, the list uh Aldrick Rojas, somebody else who got in trouble. Eric Reed, probably uh, in the free agent pool for the same reason that Colin Kaepernick is out there. Um, Alex Collins, somebody else who got some trouble and got cut. So it's a, a bunch of guys. So Taewon Taylor, uh, he was cut. I think added back to the uh, to the practice squad. So you can see him there. Um, let's see who else. Uh, Haley, he was somebody who was on the Giants previously, and he got cut. Now he's on the Browns practice squad and that's an interesting place to start let's, uh, let's take a look at the uh take a look at the the practice squads and see uh any notable players that are on there and i i like the fact that they actually have accurate practice squads that's something you have to remember we didn't even have just a couple years back you know we didn't even have practice squads at all josh rosen signed with the bucks after being released and cut 67 overall man i, I think he's even lower than when he came in as a rookie uh, let me know in the comments below if you guys remember what what was Josh Rosen's overall when he came into the league at Madden and now at 67 overall. I think he actually went down, which is pretty sad. I feel like there's someone who hasn't really gotten a fair shake. I think he's a lot better quarterback than uh you know than, than we've seen. I think he's I think he had like seven different offensive coordinators in four years. It's something crazy, like you know, five different coaches in five years. It was just like he's never had his stability. In the offense, so uh, ho ho hopefully Tom Brady and the Bucks will uh, that'll be somebody so that can uh, you know get him on and, and get his career back on track. So uh, going through the practice squads, yeah, you know it's all uh, pretty at Bo Scarborough. I didn't even know he was on the Lions practice squad. Uh, like some some of these guys, Robert Foster, he's a beast. I can always make I should make like a, a practice squad thief uh, video just showing all the top guys. Cause there, there's some good talent out there in the free agent pool and practice squad. Uh, so that, that is pretty much it. Um, you know, Sony got got the new rosters up there, got the update. Who was pretty much um, not anything with franchise, not anything with gameplay in this one. But they got more updates coming. It, you know, and Madden is looked at as a live service now, so we're gonna have updates. So I know people who don't like updates, you are not gonna like this Madden because they got updates coming to fix a lot of problems in this game um, with gameplay and. and coverages and, and pretty much everything so uh, i will catch you guys in the next video uh, let me know your thoughts on this update and madden 20 in general in the comments below if you appreciate our content here at SEO, make sure you drop a like subscribe for news tips reviews and gameplay from all of your favorite sports games now if you want to take your game to the next level with insider news free games and access to our private chat subscribe to SEO insider today